Welcome. Dana Taylor here with Dainty Acres Italian Greyhounds. Today we're in the training studio working on our motion and non-motion triggers. I have Amaya's Macchiato in the ring. All year we have been practicing and working on both audible and visual commands that trigger my dogs to motion or non-motion. In the show ring it's noisy, smelly, and full of random distractions. My verbal triggers may be hard to hear or may be heard but forgotten as soon as the paper cup rolls into the ring. With my hand signs, my dog can look at my hand anytime and know what we are doing. With consistent hand communication and my audible communication as well, my dog can choose to be successful and they love working in the studio. I carry a pocket full of treats. I use a treat as a reward when he gets it right, um, and I limit a dog's lesson to less than five minutes at a time. We may practice up to three times a day, but I limit it to five minutes per dog so that it's fun, so it stays exciting and it stays interesting and they want to come back to it. Let's watch a short visual clip demonstrating the handler's hand and the different hand signs. The first photo is the stay hand sign. Between every motion and non-motion command is a transition. Starts with the hand sign that is the stay, and there's a transition between the stay and the come. The transition from the stay to the come is either a release or a ready transition. If I wanted my dog to relax after a long stay, I would say, okay, I would be releasing him from his frozen stand. But here I want my dog to engage or wake up, so I am shaking my lead. That slight shake of the lead is all I need to get my dog excited, and it is the perfect ready trigger. Since this training session's goal is about the confirmation show ring, I want to set the stage of a typical AKC confirmation dog show ring. The ring can be on carpet, concrete, gravel, grass, or dirt. Um, we have been in almost every kind of ring. We are training today on a concrete surface with carpet runners. Some days I practice on carpet and some days I practice on the concrete. Some days we practice on the grass. I change it up, but today we're on carpet. In the confirmation show ring, the handler is on the right side and the dog tracks on the left. And they travel together in a counterclockwise circle around the ring. So my lead is in my left hand. My left hand will do the communicating. I use a six foot lead on a flat length collar. I have chosen the Eric Salas combination because I like to show my dog on a loose lead. I like to show off my dog in his own balance and carriage. I don't like to get in the way. Um, I also can get some distance between me and my little tiny dog. Uh, you'll notice that sometimes his head is up looking up at me and I prefer a head that's nice and straight so uh, the longer the lead the further I stay away from him the better head. So we are going to work on just four triggers. Those are the stay, the no motion trigger, the shake the lead trigger, which is a transition, the come trigger, which is a motion trigger, and the easy transition trigger. In the training studio, I say the trigger words at the same time I give the hand signal. I will say them out loud at the same time I am demonstrating the hand trigger signals. We have a few minutes left in this training session, so let's go back into the training studio and work on those triggers. Recapping, the four triggers are, number one, the stay, the hand sign trigger, number two, the shake the lead, transition trigger, three, the come, the hand sign trigger, and four, the easy transition trigger. I hope you found this video and information helpful. Please subscribe to the Dainty Acres YouTube channel. We would so appreciate it. See you next time in the training studio.